Right, guys. Hi again. Good to see you. Hello. So, next up, footwear. And I think you, Clive, are going to take us through a bit of an intro before Gus takes us through a bit of the product. So, take us away. Yeah, I'll just quickly to say, I think this is possibly one of the most successful areas for Saliva, especially in the UK. Um, and again, you know, they cross everything from uh, what you might call um, speed hiking, which isn't something we really do in the UK, but we move fast, don't we? Uh, right up to um, uh, alpine, um, alpine boots. But I, I think one unifying factor, which is worth just talking about, is their 3F system. Uh, which you'll see across all of their boots. Uh, and essentially what, what that is, is a system that, that links the, the heel, the instep, and the actual lacing system. So it makes it a, a really kind of solid, stable wrapping feel to all their boots. Uh, and you'll see them across, uh, you'll see that feature across all of their, all of their footwear. So uh, do you want to go into some detail there, Gus? Yeah, sure. So just going exactly straight to one where Clive left off. Um, with most of our kind of boots, trainers, approach shoes, the, the 3F system is integral to the fit of the shoe. So you, you often see this, you see this familiar cable on the back of the shoe. And sometimes it's like um, a plastic laminate uh, linked up to a cable and with a lacing. But the point is that you are really emphasizing that fit on the back of the heel. So obviously what the boots designed for, the characteristics of the sole unit, the heel, and then the, the toe box, um, that's going to give you a, a good idea of what the boots intended use is. But by having that fit at the back of the heel, um, it gives you that real structure. Then you can have a broader toe box if it's for all day comfort. You can have a slimmer toe box if it's for climbing precision. But by having that origin of fit at the back, it means you're never going to lose that hold. And because that cable's in there against plastic and the leather and the suede, it should be there for the lifespan of the product. So when you're putting it... One of the things you've covered, I mean, fit with footwear is just like, you know, yeah, yeah. What is footwear if it doesn't fit right? I think that's the key. And I know when we're reviewing things, you know, like the two things we tend to sort of focus on now are how does it fit? And also kind of as a bit of an indicator to the, you know, it's interesting you're talking about, was it fast hiking? You said, Clive. Speed hiking, right? Speed hiking. Sorry, that's way, way <laughs> cooler. But like, um, you know, it's like trying to say what it's all about, what it's for. And as you say, speed hiking is obviously a very European term. But in principle, all it is is people who just want to go a bit faster yeah. than maybe your traditional leather boot wearer in the British Hills. It's, you know, it's kind of that simple, isn't it? And so explaining those two, uh, but yeah, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're speed hiking or not. If you don't have a boot or shoe that fits, uh, you may as well not bother. So it's going to be an uncomfortable day. Anyway, that was my, you were worried you were going to go off on a tangent here and now I'm <laughs> off on a tangent. So let's bring us back, Gus. Well, so um, a couple of couple of specific shoes to, sh shoes to show you today. Um, the first one, well, both of these are brand new for this season. So, you know, coming to a store near you soon. Um, but the first boot we've got is um, the second evolution of our, our popular boot, the Mountain Tra the Alp Trainer Mid, sorry. Um, so the Alp Trainer 2 previously it used a in synth synthetic and suede upper, so now it uses leather. Um, and it's suited basically for your, your trekker and your walker. So it's not like a typical approach shoe or a mountain boot where it's, it's a lot stiffer. An emphasis is perhaps on protection against rock or um, precision when you're scrambling, for example. So this is something that you want to be able to put on your foot uh, and walk comfortably in. Um, and you know, how do we do that? Well, we've got a comfortable midsole of a kind of a, a uniform EVA. So you haven't got like a firmer bit in the front and a softer bit at the back and another bit in the middle. It's nice and uniform. So it should be comfortable throughout the length of your foot. And as we've said already, you've got that fit at the back, um, nice flex throughout the boot. Um, no, see that there? So kind of good tread on the bottom of the heel. So it's not a, it's a flatter profile, but it's got some cleats. So if you approach that mud or that trailing section, it's not going to give up on you and you're not going to be falling on your backside, basically. But if you do find yourself in a mountain environment, you have got that climbing zone on the front of the boot, just to give you that level of precision uh, and when you're tiptoeing amongst rocks. Um, toe down lacing is a common feature across all of our boots. So it just enables you to customize that fit to the contours of your foot when you're putting, when you're putting it on. Um, and then also Gore-Tex membrane, you know, that all important feature in our British climate. It's, it's so, interesting, when, when you first brought that out, I thought it was going to be aimed at actually quite the softer end of the market, if that makes sense. But actually some of the uh, features you've got there, uh, you know, such as like that little climbing zone around the front, and also just the fact that it's got actually some pretty ref respectable size lugs on it as well to 
to you know help combat the uh, legendary levels of British mud that are probably soon to be with this within the mountains. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of like it feels like quite soft when you initially described it, but actually has a load of really cool, uh, yeah, uh, things that well, I, a ro more robust hill walking boot would have on it as well. So cool blend. No, no, it's a good blend. And if you, if you are, you know, if you are climbing, if you're in the mountains all day, you know, you do have a hook on the back of it as well. So you're not going to retrofit your lacing to hang it off the back of your harness. So yeah, a really capable all round boot, whether it's something that somebody who's an experienced hill user and wants a nice lightweight piece of dexterous footwear or somebody who wants just something for all day comfort, they're perhaps getting into the hills um, and they want something which is you know, it's, it's not laced up with pieces of carbon fiber and looks like a space boot. It'll be something which is comfortable and suited to a, a hill walker as opposed to a mountain climber or scrambler. So on the note of space boots, uh, I know that you're about to talk us through something dead cool looking that you uh, saw earlier with what looks to be kind of knit technology in the uppers. I'm saying this without ever having seen the product before. So if it comes up on camera and I'm wrong, then so <laughs> be it. But Tell us more about that, because it looks, I mean, that does look spacey. So um, back to that category of speed hiking, so, you know, well, what, what kind of denotes that over typical traditional hiking? Um, you're blending, trying to blend the best of both worlds between what is typically a running shoe and a hiking shoe. Uh, and the end result is you want a nice, lightweight, protection-giving, comfortable uh, shoe with enough grip that's going to suit the terrain underneath you, but not so much grip that you're going to be carrying that extra weight. Um, and what you end up with is um, our take on it, and this is the Dropline Mid. So uh, the Dropline family was something we introduced for, for last spring, but, you know, for the, the dear old world <laughs> down on us, we never talked about it. But what we came out with was a, a highly cushioned, comfortable, all-day walking shoe. Uh, and then this season we take it to the next iteration and we, we provide you with an ankle cuff. Um, but what makes this so special is where you've got high stack, a high stack level of cushioning throughout the shoe. So for those of you familiar with something like Hoka or, you know, a, a big piece of squeegee EVA in the midsole, it's something that's going to let you sink into that repeatedly throughout the day. It's going to be comfortable no matter what. Um, you've also got quite an aggressive camber on the shoes. When we talk about camber, we talk about the heel to the toe and how almost banana shaped the shoe is. But if you imagine when you put your heel down, you can put your heel down at kind of an earlier point in your stride and really roll through. So it gives you a greater contact with the ground, um, a greater level of stability when you're walking on even surfaces, um, but also it kind of allows you to engage more muscles. So if we were to take one thing from speed hiking, it's trying to utilize that efficiency of movement through the hills. So more energy, less energy used, more energy throughout the day, bigger days, epic days. Yeah. I wish we were in the same room in a legal <laughs> environment just so I could try those on because they look really, from the shape, as you say, the camber is really fascinating. And just in terms of, I've not actually used anything with that level of cushioning. And it's interesting you say about Hoka because they're, again, another brand I'm, familiar with and have heard lots of reports about, but never personally uh, used. But what a fascinating, I mean, again, if I was in a shop right now with them and you'd want to try them on just to see how on earth they felt, because it's- give them a shot. I mean, the next, I guess the next part of the kind of is the upper, you know, so I'm, I'm yakking on about the kind of the trainer aspect of it, but what you've got on the upper is a knitted upper. So it's you comfortable. It. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> but yeah, so you're not, you're not just kind of, you're not just imagining that from there. But we've also laced it in with a couple of our lacing features. So you see those little buckles? Yep. Um, it allows you to kind of cinch the lacing at an intermediary point. So halfway up the shoe, you can really um, focus on that fit that's going to be at the front of the shoe, because typically trainer styles don't have toe down lacing, so it'll interfere with, your, interfere with the top of the toes. Um, and then it takes us all the way into this cuff. Um, and I think you can see it from there. You can see the kind of formed nature of it. But what that's designed to do is give you a really lightweight, um, not only ankle protect, ankle support, but ankle protection. So there's a there's a bike body out there, body armor out there called G-Shock, and this material is incredible that it's kind of cut, that it's very flexible and very dexterous on your elbows and your knees. But if you fall off and hit it, the uh, material is designed to stiffen up and take the blow, as opposed to putting it into your skeleton. So where if you've got any rocks or kind of harsh mountain terrain, this is not only designed to offer support in the ankle, but also protection. 
I'm now glad we're not in the same room, Gus, just in case I ended up some guinea pig to see how this worked. <laughs> Force uh, pig. That is a fascinating shoe and a fascinating blend, as I say. Uh, it'd be a really interesting one to see that how that does, well, in a review. I mean, uh, just because, yeah, it's like, it's interesting because I think, you know, again, speed hiking, use whatever word you wish. Um, the you know, what it's ultimately doing is bringing about the blends of actually like a lightweight, either running shoe, fell running shoe or trainer, but with a load of aspects of support that would you'd only get from a boot uh, into one really techie looking package. Yeah, no, it, it's a it's a cracking shoe. It'll be it'll be good to see what people think of it when it uh, when it's out. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for taking us through that, guys. Really appreciate it. And speak to you both soon. Cheers. Thanks, Rob.